Hey guys, 420C in here, back at it again with another video. I hope everyone watching is having themselves a super stony day. Let me know what you're talking on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret, unlisted grow and smoke videos, our VIP Discord community, or if you want to get some one-on-one -on -one grow help, totally check us out on Patreon. I'm going to have the link in the upper right-hand corner over here. Today, we're going to be talking about the best types of soil, not brands. I'm talking about soil. That's a completely different thing here. Having your favorite brand of soil, I mean, that's really cool and all, but if you really want to learn about the fundamentals of understanding what makes soil good and bad, this is what today's video is going to be all about. There are a few key elements of soil that you need to be familiar with and have a good perspective on, and there is a total of three things, in my opinion, that's going to make or break the soil that you choose. It's going to be the texture of your soil, how well your soil is going to drain, and what nutrients are already in the soil. When you pick whatever soil you're going to use for your grow, those are the three things that you need to absolutely pay attention to. Is the soil loose and airy, or is it packed up like mud? Is the water draining properly? How much perlite is in your soil? What kind of nutrients are in your soil? And that's going to differentiate what your ladies are going to need when you start off, as opposed to what they don't need, because they already have it in their soil. Knowing the nutrients that's in your soil is going to give you a good idea on what you're working with. There's a few different types of soils out there, and I know you're probably wondering, okay, well, what kinds of soil is out there? I'm going to tell you right now they're not all the same you got sandy soil silty soil loamy soil and clay if you've never heard of silty soil before because i feel like some of you might have never heard of it i've never heard anybody even mention it on my discord or like pretty much anywhere it's pretty much made of rock and mineral particles so like the particle size it's like bigger than clay but smaller than sand kind of reminds me of muddy soil because it's got really good water retention but horrible drainage trash drainage most of you already have a good idea what sand is or sandy soil is and I'm sure most of you have gone to the beach at least once. I'm not going to spend too much time on sandy soil or just sand and the reason for that is because even though it's got pretty good drainage it's got terrible water retention. It dries up super quickly. There's I mean there's nothing really to talk about when it comes to sandy soil. It's trash. What else do you need to know? Next let's talk about clay soil. I've sadly done a run. Well I tried to do a run with soil that had the consistency of clay. This is uh it was it was a long time ago. I don't remember why I was using it. I think somebody dug up a bunch of it in the, their backyard and I was like, all right, well, I don't know. I guess I'll try to use it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It was pretty bad. The point is I did use it. It sucks because it's super packed up. I mean, it is like mud, nothing airy about clay soil at all. There's no drainage. Your roots are going to have a hard time working its way through the clay. And the only, I mean, okay, it's really sad. It's got pretty good water retention, but what does that matter if it's got horrible drainage? You know what I'm saying? Your shit it's just never going to dry out. And on top of it, it's got a pretty high pH value on top of it. I say on top of it in one sentence. What? You get the point. Now there's my own personal favorite, which is what a lot of people use. And that's loamy soil. Fox Farm soil is loamy. Pro Mix is loamy. Roots Organic is loamy. All right, so what the fuck makes loamy soil then, bro? It's the only type of soil that has good water retention, generally has good drainage, and has nutrients already in it for the most part, unless you got Pro Mix going on in there. It's super airy, easy for your roots to navigate through the soil. The water retention is good, but it will dry up within a reasonable amount of time. I mean, it's by far the best type of soil to grow with. Now, just because I say that loamy soil is light and airy and has good drainage, don't ignore the fact that your soil is still going to need a little bit of extra drainage. I'm just saying, compared to all the other ones that are completely fucking garbage, loamy soil is the best and has the best of not both worlds, all three worlds. So let's take strawberry fields. I think that's a great example. You grab a handful of it and I mean, it, it's like fluff, but the drainage, it's not stellar. I'm gonna be the first one to tell you that. But the drainage is still gonna be better than silt, clay, or sandy soils, but you're still gonna need to amend, obviously, right? I mean, trust me, I love strawberry fields. I already know some in the comment section is like, oh, now he's talking bad about, it. listen, I ain't talking bad about it. Just saying these Alexa drainage, that's all. Point is, loamy soil is still gonna be better. Like strawberry fields, all the other soils that I just mentioned like the brands of soil that are loamy it's still going to be better than the other stuff that I mentioned like the silt soil or the clay soil or the sandy soil now I know this video is about the types of soil not the brands of soil but with the different brands of soil out there it's good to know which ones have good drainage and which ones don't but you could always just grab a bag of perlite and there's no harm in adding more perlite even if their drainage is already good all you're going to be doing is creating more air pockets for the water to drain better so I'll never say no to better 
drainage and easier navigation for your roots. So if you wanna add like maybe even 5%, 10%, you know, throw a couple handfuls in like your super soil mix, there's nothing wrong with making your soil conditions just a little bit better. Now, perlite is not the only way to get better drainage in your soil. This might sound crazy, but you can also use clay pebbles that don't just hear me out. I already know someone's like, oh, well, clay pebbles are for a hydro setter, bro. What are you talking about? This is a soil video. What do you mean, bro? I know. All right. I get it. You can use it for a hydro setup, but you don't necessarily have to. We like to associate certain words with something else, but trust me, this is gonna get a little bit creative now. What you can do is you can add some of those clay pebbles in the bottom of your container. So it's, so you're gonna have like a level of clay pebbles at the bottom of your container. You could even do two levels if you want. So by adding clay pebbles to the very bottom of your containers before you even throw any soil in there, it's gonna help prevent your water from pooling at the bottom. I mean, obviously you could use your pot containers as well, but if you're using pot elevators, obviously that's a good thing as well. I'm just saying if you don't wanna use the pot elevators, this is like the secondary way of doing it. You could just use the clay pebbles to your advantage. Your clay pebbles at this point are pot elevators themselves. I feel like this is a tip that a lot of people don't really think about doing. Like, I mean, it's a super creative way to rise up your ladies without having to get any pot elevators if you don't want to, but maybe you'll be in a situation where you don't have pot elevators and you got a big bag of clay pebbles. I don't know what your situation is. You never know, but you can use clay pebbles. You do not need to get pot elevators. I like using pot elevators, but I use the clay pebbles as the bottom layer as well. Guys, there's nothing wrong with changing things up every once in a while. Another quick tip is that if you're trying to fix the opposite of good drainage, like let's just say you got good drainage, but if you're trying to get maybe better water retention, you can add vermiculite. It's going to greatly increase the water retention of your soil. So you're going to have the best of both worlds, good drainage, good water retention. Since we're towards the end of the video i know a couple weeks ago i saw the comment section you guys have been asking for the new super soil mix for the new run if you don't know what i'm going to be running i'm going to be running purple honey by in-house genetics i do not have the oh, the beans are in the bedroom it's been really cold the last couple of days so i've been kind of weird with keeping listen i kept beans in the car once and none of them popped you know <laughs> so i don't like to keep my beans in a cold spot i know some people are like oh you could put it in the freezer i'm not like that i think it's the ptsd of leaving leaving my beans in the car that one time. None of them pop. I mean, it could have been a coincidence, but I'm still ain't risking it. Now, as far as that super soil video I told you guys I'm gonna make, I haven't forgotten about that video. I'm not gonna shoot that video until I transplant from the germ kit because I'm gonna be starting out with Pro Mix with 25% worm castings for my seedling. So I'm not gonna drop that video until I'm ready because you guys wanted to see a whole demonstration video, not me just telling you guys, oh, you need to use this, 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 this. So I'm gonna hook you guys up with that it is coming, just not until I'm ready. So having said all that, this is gonna be the end of the video. We're gonna wrap it up. If there's anything you guys wanna to add to this discussion, totally drop it in the comment section below. Listen guys, comments, believe it or not, help the channel in any way. Likes, dislikes, it's all an interaction, you know what I'm saying? And also, if there's a video you guys are requesting, you guys want me to make, drop that in the comment section as well. I I really love to hear what your ideas are. Before we close out today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. And to everyone else, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. I'll see you guys on Friday. And as always, stay safe. Peace.